Hey guys, what's going on? Bud from Bud Plays Games here, bringing you some more Cities Skylines gameplay, guys. Now, I've been sitting here for a little while. I, If you remember our roundup, we had it as a one-way, just a nice little circle. I've been messing with it just a little bit here, seeing if I could uh, upgrade it, make traffic flow just a bit easier through it, and it looks like it did indeed work. I changed most of these to uh, six lane, which did require me to dezone a little bit of stuff out here. I also got rid of the houses and sayings and uh, low density commercial around this area too, just to try to aid in traffic flow so nobody's parking on the sides or anything like that. Now, it looks like things are running a bit smoother here, which is good. That's what I was that's what I was going for. I added this little off-road here just to try to aid traffic going through here quicker. Um, I got rid of a few stop stoffic a few traffic lights, guys. So I'm hoping that that might help with this a little bit of a traffic situation that we were experiencing. Now, the next thing that I would like to address... Looks like maybe out here... Maybe out here is another issue that we could, uh... Take a peek at. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's happening out here, guys. Because, as you can see, the traffic is getting stopped up right here really, really badly. Actually, look at this. What are you doing? Retor returning to facility. Let's go ahead and take a peek at our traffic. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, pretty bad. Now, I downloaded a few prefab, um, prefab things, which is, I have this guy right here, which is a, uh, through the description says, a tiny one-way, two-way entrance slash exit traffic killer intersection can also use as an endpoint of four-lane roads, etc. So, what's going on here? What's happening? Well, first off, we don't need these traffic lights. That I am seeing right here these can go away that might aid in the traffic just a little bit now what happens is when you turn these off the cars will look for gaps and they're very good at finding the gaps in traffic and they'll try to just shoot through the gaps and um, avoid any wait times that they would have had to um, had to endure if I were to leave these guys up now out here it's not really an issue whatsoever traffic wise but let's go ahead and take a peek at this see if this is gonna help anything so what I'm noticing is the trucks are going like this, and they're trying to get back around here a little bit quicker. So where are they coming from exactly? Looks like they're coming from out here, following this road, and then they're wanting to hop off over here. Now, something I might be able to do to try to fix this situation just a little bit here is just do a simple little road across. Now, that might help. That will cause a bit of traffic right here, but hopefully they can just shoot on there a little bit quicker. Yeah, it looks like it's doing pretty well this far uh, these guys are all exiting so it's not that much of a worry but what I'm seeing right here is these guys getting on the highway are causing traffic to actually stop for a few seconds now where try to... here let's go ahead and pause let's follow this guy for a second here uh, he's exporting oil products so he should be just leaving the city yes he is take a peek at this guy importing products Let's see where he's going. So, he's got to go all the way up around here. Back down. Just to get over here. Okay. So, that's a bit of an issue. Because the only way for them to get in is right there. So, what I could do... I thought they had an entrance out here. Yeah, they do back here. But, that's obviously not working for them. So, what could I do to try to remedy the situation that we're experiencing? Hmm, because that's causing them to have to drive through the residential, which is not preferable. I'd rather them not have to drive through residential. Um, that's just going to cause more traffic and more issues than it will uh, benefit in any way. So let's see if I can maybe pull a road off this way. Now, what's going on here? Slope too steep. Let's see if I can... What about right there? Okay, now can I pull this guy right? Let's see if I can get it even in the middle here. Because my main goal is just to try to make another little way for them to get to the industrial area. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, this is going to be a little bit of a tight corner here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Okay, here we go. Now we're making progress. Now we're making progress. So let's go ahead and do... This is a very, very crazy highway. And I'll come back and I'll smooth it out after we get the initial layout done. Uh, I really don't want it to go onto this. So what if I were to... Actually... Let's just go ahead and see if I can connect this guy, like so. That would make things way more convenient if I could do this, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, because it's 
interfering with, I think, this rune, which is a bit unfortunate, because that, that would have helped out a ton if I could just... There we go. That'll help. That'll be a little bit better, so I don't have to navigate that crazy turn. Now what I think about doing is I will take this guy and drop it down just enough so it can go underneath. There we go. That should work. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but... It, it should help. Let's hope. Let's hope it'll help anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull this guy out like so. Go ahead and make him come up. We'll raise it up just a bit here to go over this guy. Come back down. Right about... Ooh, can I get this to line up? There we go. And like that. Now let's see if this will help the traffic situation just a little bit here. I want these guys to just go straight across like this. Doesn't look like they're wanting to, though. I think they're still just wanting to go around this way, which seems a bit odd. We have a few trucks that are taking that new way we just made. Yeah, we got a couple. Yeah, it looks like it's helping maybe just a tiny bit. Because this traffic out here is pretty intense. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Pretty bad. Now, what other way could I remedy this situation we're experiencing? So what's happening is they're trying to come over and then they merge into this far left lane, which if they if they just go in the middle lane, that would solve every issue, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen, guys. Hmm. A little bit difficult here. Looks like this roundabout's doing quite nicely. Yeah, traffic is stopping a little bit, but I'm not seeing anything that's too concerning there. Uh, what about back here? Looks like this is a small issue, maybe. Where are you guys trying to get to? What we could do... Let's add just a little off-road. Now we'll have to delete a few buildings in the process, but hopefully it'll help out with the traffic just a bit. Uh, let's see how this does. Let's see... Oh yeah, so that's already freeing up just a little bit of stuff here. Okay, so we do have some stop signs. Actually, quite a few stop signs to, uh, to deal with real quickly. Actually, no we don't. Just that one line... These look like stop signs. Maybe they're just yield signs. Yeah, that's probably what they are. Now, another thing, I'm sure some of you guys are screaming into your uh, into your computer right now to add some more transit, which we could definitely, definitely get on. Um, I also learned how to use metros, which is very nice. That should help us out a ton as well. So what we could do, let's go ahead. Hmm, you know what? Let's just, we'll add a bus station, all right? We'll just do a bus station. This is pretty much how to deal with traffic a little bit, um, adding on to our previous episode of where we kind of showed you guys a little bit of how to deal with some traffic issues in your cities. So adding these transits is going to be very, very nice for the people, so it'll give, I want to get into the free transportation, which is a, uh, a policy that I can actually uh, put in place, which will enable my people to go on these transits without cost, so that should also aid in the the transportation issue that we're having a little bit here. I'm gonna bring that guy back there. All right, there we go. Eh, should help a bit. Look like these buses are having a few issues. What are you guys? Are you guys loading up passengers? Oh, that is what you're doing, isn't it? Oh my goodness. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So it looks like these guys are having some issues with loading people on. So what we could do is we could come into here. We get a nice. Six lane, upgrade this bad boy right here. Go and do this. There we go. That should start to help. I'm hoping traffic will just go past these guys, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Oh yeah, look at all these guys loading up their buses. Yep. Okay, so that causes a tiny bit of an issue, but I think we'll be okay, guys. I think it'll be alright. Now, maybe if I... I think there's a way to... Hmm... I don't remember how to do it. There's a way to make it parking prohibited right here. Which could very well help us. Now, why are you guys just chilling? Uh, we'll let this play out. We'll see how this... We'll see how this does. Uh, looks like traffic's actually pretty heavy out here as well, still. Which is largely due to the fact that people are merging on and going to this far left lane, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you guys drive. But, nonetheless, oh yeah, oh my goodness, that is very, very backlogged. 
Hmm. What can we do to remedy this? I'm trying to think of different methods that we could use. You know what we could do? Let's just try... Let's just try this. Maybe give them a off route right there. To just go straight on to uh, the industrial if, guys, if that's where they're going. That might alleviate a bit of traffic. I don't know how much it will alleviate, but... Let's hope that it'll, it'll help out a little bit. At least. I'm gonna do this too. Yeah. We, all, we honestly don't need this area zoned either. Um, so let's go ahead and just get our marquee tool. Dezone all of this. There we go. Very nice. So let's see how this does here. So if nothing else, I just gave them an, an, another few different exits to, to take. Instead of just having to go straight onto the highway. Which it looks like that's still what they're wanting to do for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and try one of these prefab things that we downloaded. Uh, this is just off the Steam Workshop, so we're going to give it a test here. Let's go, like, see if I can... I want it to connect, like, right... I don't want to delete a bunch of stuff in the process, but I might have to delete a few things. That's okay, though. That's not a big deal. So, what I could do here... Let's go ahead and grab some more one-ways. It doesn't matter about noise here, so it's not that much of a concern. Got to make sure there's no stoplights or stop signs or anything like that. It's going to be detrimental to us here. Just going to do another one way. I want to try to get these guys a little bit angled, you know, so they can kind of merge on a bit easier. Um, we'll try that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. And make it yet again another exit right there. Now we do have a few traffic lights that we can disable out here. So this is just another simple way to um, begin dealing with a little bit of traffic that you guys are experiencing. Um, adding in these roundabouts should help a little bit let's hope doesn't look like they're still wanting to use my roundabouts that i made them well maybe a couple of them are maybe this is a difficult situation guys it's always tough to deal with traffic in this game you got to find what works and what doesn't work and you know maybe let's just delete this and see what happens That might honestly have just been for the better, to be completely honest with you guys. Because now they're going to be forced to take this roundabout. Which, now that they're forced to take this, we can kind of make this road just a little bit better here. Because that road was pretty awful, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. Pretty dang awful. What I can do is I can go ahead and grab... <coughs> excuse me. And grab a little one of these guys. Merge them on. Eh. Like this. So it should add just another way for them to get off if they're in the right lane here. What's going on? What's going on? Looks like we did free up a good bit of traffic, so that's nice to see. That is indeed very nice. That's what my goal was, and we we accomplished it pretty good. We accomplished it pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. All right, so let's go ahead and take a peek at our traffic again here. Make sure everything is flowing decently. I'm noticing a few issues right here. Which we could probably use yet another roundabout right here. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. Definitely noticing a lot of traffic right here. But where are you trying to get? Returning to facility. Returning to facility and going to garbage plant. So maybe what we could do is let's go ahead, pop off one of these intersections. Let's see what this does. Let's see what this does to the traffic. Because what I'm seeing is people are cutting through and they're trying to go straight across, which is not very good. Let's see what this does to traffic here. It might honestly free up a good amount of stuff. Uh, traffic is flowing nicely right there. That's good to see. No one's cutting each other off. That's also very nice to see because that is a pretty prevalent issue in our city here. Looks like things are flowing a little bit better now. I am noticing a few issues right here. No, that's just the buses stopping to pick some people up. That's all right. That's actually what we want to see here. Let's go ahead and take a peek at our traffic menu once more. So it looks like this lane right here has some pretty intense traffic. Now, this is just normal. Hmm. What could we do to remedy this situation? You guys have a stoplight? Why are you stopping? 
What's going on there? Let's let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Make sure nothing is uh. Yeah, there's. Maybe if we enable stop light or stop signs on these sides, it'll kind of make people um slow down a bit and not cut each other off quite as much. You know what we? Ugh. It's a difficult thing dealing with uh trapping this game. It's definitely not an easy um easy thing to uh to address. It's kind of it's kind of like a um just kind of try what you can. If it doesn't work, then try something else. You know, it's just trial and error pretty much. This is a firehouse. Let's go ahead and move this. We don't want to get rid of this by any means. Uh, definitely want to keep the firehouses. Now what we need to do, we'll pop that guy out right there. Wait for the rest of the stuff to get dezoned. And let's see if we can add in another little roundabout right here. Because these roundabouts are extremely useful. I cannot stress that enough, the the use of these guys. They're very, very good to have. You never have too many roundabouts, guys. Let's go ahead. This is going to be some serious renovations we're making on our city here. Um, I do think it will be for the better of the city, though. So, uh, Can I fit? That guy's a little bit small. Let's be honest here. Let's... Uh, hmm. Connect. We could connect it like this, I think. That, sh that should be alright. Now let's go ahead and see if we can get some of these guys connected in here. Space is already occupied. Okay, let's go ahead and... Pop these guys off. That can stay. You need to go. Now let's go ahead and just draw a straight line out here. Then we're just gonna go like. How do we want to do this? Eh, let's grab a one way. And we're gonna put trees on these because it's gonna be a little bit loud for our people in here. Is there any way for me to make this a bit more angular? Doesn't appear so. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just make a few more little offshoots for people to um to get over, you know, try to try to get some more traffic flow going. Let's see how this does. Okay, so we need something right here, that's for sure. All right, let's see what this does. So we have some stoplights right there that we can get rid of. This is pretty much. <laughs> Basics of how to deal with traffic in this game. Roundabouts, roundabouts, roundabouts. Roundabouts are your new best friend. They're absolutely going to be your guys' best friend in this game. Well, we could do something like this. Make sure everything's connected here. What's going on? Uh, it needs to be connected to lines. What? Ooh, I messed up a bus line, didn't I? Alright, let's go like so. Go ahead and bend this guy back around here. So, what's going on here? Let's go ahead and see if I can change this guy. Make him a six lane. Uh, that should make our lines connect once more. Let's hope. Let's hope, guys. Right, let's see what that does. Go back into here. Create a new line. Cannot find a path. So it looks like he's having some issues getting back around this way, and that's probably due to the, the one-way roundabout we've got going right there. What we could do, so we go like this, grab the tree guy, and do maybe if I can get him to link up, that'd be pretty good. But what's going on? Why can't I place this? There we go. There we go. That should begin to deal with a little bit of traffic that we got going on. Okay. Get a new line. This is a bit of a cluster that we've got going on. We might just have to do some renovations on these guys. Right, let's just go ahead and pop these guys off. One by one, we can probably... Just backtrack our way and find the source of these guys. There we go. There we go. That's better. So it looks like it was just an incomplete line that was causing those issues that we were experiencing. Uh, bus, what are you doing stopping? You don't need to stop right there. Oh, you're unloading people. Well, that makes sense. Um, where were the pedestrian paths at? I know that somewhere... Somewhere there's a pedestrian path. Or it's low traffic. Is this a pedestrian path? 
This might be a pedestrian path. I'm not too sure, but I think it is. I'm pretty sure that's pedestrian. Ooh, no it's not. So it looks like our buses are unloading right there, and then they're trying to get off over here. Now what we could do... Hmm, I don't know much about the pedestrian paths, guys, so if you know how to use those or where they're at, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And as per usual, guys, if you guys are enjoying, don't forget to smash that like button down below, and hit the sub button if you guys are new, so you guys never miss a daily video. Alright, let's see. Let's see what this does. Let's see how this little roundabout starts aiding our city. Looks like everything is going quite nicely. Uh, experiencing a lot of traffic out here. <laughs> so we've got lots of traffic stuff to deal with, guys. Um, but that's going to have to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed my little tips and tricks I was telling, um, if you guys have any tips for me as well, be sure to let me know so I can um, start implementing them. And thank you for the tips that are given. But, guys, thank you so much for stopping by for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to smash that like button down below. If you're new and enjoyed, hit the sub button so you never miss a daily video. <gasps> okay, mouthful. Until next time, guys, take care. I'm going to deal with this traffic, and I'll see you guys later.